So today, I finally figured out what's going on with this GE70. GE70 Apache MSI, model number 2QD. And on this one, I'd torn this apart to fix up the charger port on it, which was damaged. It had shorted itself and sparked a little bit, but anyway, I did resolve that issue. But after fully reassembling it, the keyboard itself wouldn't function. I would hit control, and it would be as if I'm hitting Z. I would hit backspace, and it would be as if, as if I'm hitting up. It was like the mapping of the keyboard was completely thrown out the window. Even though it was a US international standard keyboard, it still refused to work. I did try a few different things to fix this up. I have since upgraded the BIOS. If it will focus for me, right there. Then I upgraded the EC, so that also updated the firmware. Still no good from there. So I had to delve a little bit deeper. So from there, I ended up downloading the, I believe it was like a keyboard engine, KLM. I reinstalled that. Then I reinstalled the Steel Series engine. Steel Series Engine 2, I didn't install Steel, yeah, the Steel Series Engine 3. Before I done all that, I also purchased a brand new keyboard. Connections on it, fine. Also backlit. That will focus for me. Sorry about the lack of focus today. There we go. So after doing those, around about five different things. So, reseated the keyboard. Re updated the BIOS or the UF UEFI, updated the EC firmware, reinstalled the keyboard software, and then reinstalled the Steel, Steel Series engine too. I then disconnected the power, disconnected the battery, left it off completely for around about, oh, I think it was close to about five minutes. Put the keyboard back on. Now I've got it running purely off power. From there, I've restarted it. I went into the BIOS. And the first thing I tried out was caps lock. Fine. Number lock. Fine. And while I was in the BIOS, I'd done the FN, aka Windows key switch. As we can see from here. Whoop. But as you can tell, keyboard is operating exactly as it should now. This has been the biggest head scratch of a keyboard laptop that I've ever encountered. I certainly hope I don't encounter it again, as I'm not definite on what the complete solution was for it, whether it be the KLM software that got reinstalled, which I don't believe it was that. It may have been the SteelSeries software, Which from there, you can reprogram the various color zones and whatnot. I'm not sure if it was that. Just the biggest question mark was, why wasn't it working at a BIOS level prior? So anyway, there's my recommendations on what you could potentially do to fix your GE70 keyboard. This may also be relevant for other MSI laptops using the similar SteelSeries engine. And yeah, I'll leave it here. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye.